in your academic and professional journey, you may come across cover letter. Cover letter almost serves the same purpose as motivation letter and personal statement. So I would want us to take this opportunity to look at how you can write a cover letter for yourself and share an example of what should be entailed in a cover letter. So a cover letter for a PhD application or a job application serves as a personalized introduction and a platform to convey your motivation and your qualifications and why you think that you are a suitable candidate for that specific role or for that scholarship or the PhD opportunity that you are making an application for. So it should serve as a complement to your CV that you have already prepared and it should also address some aspects specifically to the position that you are making an application for. So your cover letter should serve as a complement to your CV that you have already prepared and submitted for the application and it should highlight some aspects of the position or the scholarship that you are making the application for. So now let's look at some important um, key elements that you need to make sure it's available in your cover letter. So since cover letters are professional letters, it's necessary for you to write out your address, your full name, your contact details, your email address, and then the institution's email address, their full name, their contact details. And then you can begin with your introduction. With a solicitation for cover letter, sometimes you may have a contact person that their names will be given in the application that you are making. Make sure that you are addressing this letter to this specific individual. Or if it's a scholarship, then you can just generally address it to the scholarship committee or the admissions committee. So dear scholarship committee or the contact person's name that has been given in your application, ensure to write out that specific name for the solicitation. And then with your introduction, so let's look at this example for a PhD application. And when we are done with that, we will look at an example for a job application. So for PhD application, the introduction can begin with, I am writing to express my sincere interest in, then you insert the name of the scholarship. And then you go ahead and say, as advertised in or on, then you insert the specific platform that you saw this advertisement, whether it's the university's own website or whether it's a specific um, scholarship website that you saw this um, advertisement, ensure to insert it there. And go ahead to say, with a strong background in, then you write out your specific field. I am eager to pursue a PhD at this said university and contribute to the field through innovative research. After your introductory paragraph, it's time to mention your motivation and how it aligns with the scholarship that you are making the application for. I am particularly drawn to insert the university's name and due to its distinguished reputation in make sure you find something that makes the university stand out. So it can be the research facilities that's available, it can be a research project of a specific professor, or it can be some collaborative um, research that they've conducted with other institutions that is drawing you to that specific university or scholarship. And then the interdisciplinary nature of the PhD, then you make sure you write out that PhD, the name of the PhD, aligns perfectly with my research interest in, then you make sure you write out your specific research interest, make that connection between the PhD scholarship and your own specific interest. And I am excited about the prospects of contributing to and benefiting from the dynamic environment at your institution. So that should cover the aspect of motivation and how it aligns with your own interest. So the next thing to consider will be your academic background. I hold a, then you insert the degree, whether it's a BSc, whether it's a master's degree, insert it there from this university. So make sure you tell us which university that you had your undergraduate studies or you had your master's degree where my research focused on is time for you to introduce us to your research project. What research projects did you conduct when you were at your undergraduate studies or when you were in your university? My academic journey has equipped me with a solid foundation in it's time for you to mention some key elements in the research projects that you conducted, whether it's research methodologies, whether it's a systematic um, reviews that you did, whether it's a literature review that you did, any skill that you obtained 
when or you have equipped yourself to it when you are going through your projects it's time for you to list them out and i am eager to expand my expertise through rigorous doctoral studies so that can cover the academic background aspects so moving on to the next paragraph you can then begin to share your research experience in my previous research endeavors, such as, then you make mention of some of the research projects that you've undertaken. I demonstrated proficiency in, let's say, research methodologies and these specific techniques and successfully published my findings in, let's say, a journal of paramedic science or a journal of nursing. So it's time for you to highlight the publication that you've made so far if you have any publication. And this experience have honed my analytical skills and prepared me for the challenges of advanced doctoral research. So yes, these projects that you engaged in and you have published has given you some sort of skills and experiences that you believe it's going to be transferable that will be relevant in your doctoral studies. It's time for you to discuss your contribution to the program. I am confident that my research agenda, which centers around, it's time for you to give a brief description of your research focus, aligns seamlessly with the goals of this specific PhD. Try to name the PhD again in there. And I am enthusiastic about the opportunity to collaborate with esteemed faculty members and fellow researchers at this university to address critical challenges in this field of study. Concluding paragraph, thank you for considering my application. I'm excited about the prospect of contributing to the academic community at the university, try to type the university's name, and believe that the, then you mentioned the name of the scholarship will play a pivotal role in furthering or in pursuing my research aspirations. I look forward for the opportunity or for the possibility to discuss my research in detail and that should be your concluding paragraph. Yours sincerely or sincerely you write your full name beneath and this should serve as a guide for you to be able to write your own PhD scholarships cover letter that you are being requested for.